I, th I think Christian faith can make can make a relatively distinctive contribution to thinking about medical ethical problems. Um, I mean, depending on the problem, it, it may be a different contribution. But uh, here's one example. Um, I've been quite heavily involved in public debate about whether to legalize assisted suicide. And uh, the, the debate, you know, the, there are pros and cons, and I recognize there are pros and cons. Um, but one thing I've noticed is that um, uh, as a Christian, I, I, uh, um, I, I'm familiar with the notion of sin. Uh, um, personally, I'm quite familiar with it. Uh, and I, I, I just assume that other people do it too. And from what I observe, they do tend to. Uh, therefore, the possibility of um, people not obeying laws or physicians um, um, taking shortcuts with procedures, um, physicians not being aware that uh, relatives are persuading their burdensome uh, um, elderly parents that they really are a waste of space. Um, as a Christian, I'm not surprised, I, I'm saddened by it, I'm not surprised by it. And that affects my view of whether it would be prudent to, to legalize doctors to kill their patients uh, uh, at, at request, because I do think there will be abuse. Um, and I do notice that those on the other side of the debate, um, usually, not, usually not Christian, usually well-meaning liberal folk, have to me um, an astoundingly naive view of um, uh, uh, not of our capacity to draft a precise law or a, a, a set of procedures, but, but pre astoundingly naive in terms of how they think real human beings under pressure are going to operate it, um, uh, uh, in those structures. So in this case, uh, I find as a Christian, um, what I regard as a, 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 um, a realistic, not a pessimistic, but a realistic view of, of human motivation and human weakness makes me take a very cautious cautious and conservative line on this issue, where my, my more starry-eyed, enlightenment liberal um, um, fellow citizens, um, uh, uh, well, they seem to me to be starry-eyed.